to another episode of Curtain Call Conversations. I'm here today with Laura White, who is currently out on the road with Murder in the Dark as Sarah. How are you today? Pretty good, thank you, actually. I'm currently in Cheltenham, which is lovely. Yes. Um, and it's a sunny day. So yeah, I'm feeling good. How are you? Yes, I'm very well, thank you. I'm excited to talk to you about the show because I have seen it. Um, I saw it in Birmingham. I okay. loved it. You know, this genre of, I mean, would you call it a paranormal sort of show? I don't know whether that's the right box to put it in. I Yeah, I think you could put it in that. But I think it kind of crosses genres and mm. boxes, doesn't it, a little bit? It's kind of hard to fit it into a box. But I think yeah. it definitely does. It does go into the paranormal space for sure. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's written by uh, Torben Betts um, and it's a great, I mean, it's a thriller and it is thrilling. Like, you know, by the interval, you're kind of wanting to get straight back in because you need to know what's going <laughs> on. Um, I mean, obviously, without spoiling it, because yeah. I know that I know the story and what happens. But let us in on Sarah. Who is she and what's her story within the within the show? So Sarah is... Danny, who is our lead character, played by the wonderful Tom Chambers. Um, Sarah is Danny's girlfriend and she has gone along with him to this funeral, his mother's funeral, on New Year's Eve, trying to be supportive, but is not very happy about being there because she wants to get back and go to a party that she's got booked in for New Year's Eve. Yeah. Um, so she's kind of come along with him and then they've ended up having this car crash. So she's now on this farm in the middle of nowhere with his family who aren't the most welcoming to her. Mm -hmm. So she's sort of there not very happily um, and not in her usual environment. Sure. I mean, that's probably as much as you can tell us without spoiling it really. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you, yeah, you've obviously practiced that because you've obviously been asked that quite a lot. And you, yeah, you good practice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're playing alongside Tom Chambers there, but also Susie Blake, who is exquisite in the show. I mean, I have yeah. to say, her performance in it is just brilliant. I mean, what's it like working, you know, working with those two? It's really, yeah, incredible. Both of them, the whole, the whole cast, the whole crew, it's, it, we've, we've been really, really blessed with everyone that we're working with. It feels like really exciting because you, you're constantly able to, like, learn and kind of... Um, better your own crafts and like even just like work ethos and the way that like being with people you know Susie's had such a wealth of experience mm. like being across, as as has Tom yeah um, and it's just really amazing to be able to sort of um like learn from them and get advice and they're so forthcoming and so like lovely and welcoming um so yeah we've been really lucky with the whole company definitely yeah. for sure. That's fantastic to hear I mean the tour is well, it's coming to the, to an end. So, I mean, it's it's finishing in Glasgow, I believe, at the end of the month. What's it yeah. been like from start to now where you are in Cheltenham? What's the touring process like for you? Do you enjoy it? Yes. So we did 10 weeks before Christmas and then we had sort of six weeks off and then 10 weeks. Um, we started again sort of mid-January. Mm. So it's been a really long time, actually. I say a really long time. It's been a few years since I've done any theatre at all and oh, right. about five years since I've done any touring. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's it's interesting. It's amazing in lots of ways because you get to see all these, like, incredible theatres and incredible spaces and, like, cities and towns that you just wouldn't normally go to. Like, I just, I would, I've never been to Cheltenham yeah. apart from on tour. Like, why would life bring me here? Yeah, so it's sure. kind of amazing to get to see all these different places. Um Obviously, there's the other side, which is um, it's now I'm kind of like six, five, six years out of graduation. Being away from home is a little bit harder now than it was when I first started. So I think that yeah. there's that side of it as well. Yeah. Um, but everyone deals with it differently. I think um, it really makes a difference if you have a good group of people around you, Yeah, which we really do in this place. So that's been really amazing. Um, and also the weather. I think I think <laughs> spring, I think spring and summer tours are easier than winter tours. Sure. Spring, Really, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it always helps to have the sun in the sky. Definitely. Exactly. I mean, have you had a favourite location that you've been to during the tour? Well, actually, Birmingham, I actually did really oh, love good. because <laughs> I because I was there with doctors, so I lived yes. in Birmingham for sort of about a year. So I, I kind of have a, a big oh. kind of got lots of family there. So I loved Birmingham, and the yes. Alex is just such an incredible theatre, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Dublin was amazing. That has to be. 
that has to be up there. And York as well, really loved York. Yeah, it's very pretty. I mean, the, the theatre that you're at at the minute, the Everyman, I mean, it's such a beautiful interior. Oh, it's so stunning it, yeah, and designed it's... really well for sound as well. Oh, that's um, good. Which makes it, yeah, so, so incredible for us because, we, yeah, we're not mics and stuff. So sometimes the bigger theatres, it's kind of like, oh, ready yeah, to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, project your voice. Um, so you mentioned doctors there. I mean, you were <laughs> Dr. Princess Buchanan um, I was, in Doctors. Yeah. I mean, how was that? I mean, that was a massive show. And unfortunately, it's it's sort of closing its doors, which is a real shame. But um, what was what was that process like for you and that experience? Yeah, it's such a shame that it's... um that it's closed down because yeah. I think for so many people, it really gives them like a, an amazing opportunity that you don't really get. It's like, especially in the UK, there's not that many opportunities to have kind of your foot in the door and like so many people have had mm. their first TV credit or their first experience on doctors. Yeah. Um, so it's really such a shame mm. that it is, that it is closing down. Um, My experience was, yeah, amazing because it was my first my first regular role yeah um they're so it's so so wonderful the people there they're so um they're used to people coming in and out so they're just like very sort of like immediately like take you in under their wing and welcome yeah. you and it was a amazing character to play because she was just like so I think in I think maybe in any continuing drama is is really good because you get the opportunity to play like the whole spectrum of like every hue because they're quite dramatic yeah have, like the spectrum of different like you kind of get to experience like all the highs and lows of human human life in a short space of time so it's really great for um yeah just like as as an actor just like working mm. with different people all the time working with different scenes different directors different scripts um it's it's a lot of work like it's um yeah yeah you do a lot in in a day lots and lots of scenes in a day lots and lots of lines to learn mm. um but it's good trains your brain to pick up lines really quickly <laughs> yeah I suppose that's the thing with it I mean I suppose in a way sort of live theater you're doing the same show every night right. aren't you whereas continuing yeah. drama it's just you've done the scene that's finished now and then it's so done delete move on. make, make yeah. some space in your brain for the next scene <laughs> yeah exactly I mean do you have a preference between tv work and stage work I don't know if I do have a preference, you know. I mean, it's been so long since I've done theatre and like coming back and doing it. Mm. It's been really amazing to like remind me of all the all the things because that's what I started in to mm. like remind me of the things that I love about it. I think um, I love that in theatre you will work towards something together. I think that's really special. You don't really get that on screen work so much because everyone just kind of comes in and slots in and does their little bit. Whereas yeah. obviously in theatre you all you got this rehearsal process that you all collectively, the whole team off stage, on stage, directors, mm. creative team, all working together to create something. You have this opening night together. Yeah. You're constantly like evolving and working through the show together, which I think is amazing having that community aspect and live audiences as well. You can't beat that. Yeah, um, absolutely. Um, But then also there's so, so much amazing stuff that you get from doing screen work. Like it's, I think um, there's like practical things, I think, like maybe you're like scheduling maybe sometimes a little bit easier with screen stuff. But also just I love that you get the opportunity to try something again. Yeah. And I love that you kind of like constantly working on new stuff. So you're not doing the same stuff all the time. So you can. Yeah, there's a lot more challenge in that aspect of it. So both have. Mm. Yeah, definitely things that um, I really love and both have things that actually I kind of prefer the other of. Yeah, so, sure, sure. Yeah. I mean, you, you mentioned stage work there, that you've not done it for a long time. You you were in the play that goes wrong. I was, in the, yeah. In the UK tour of that. I mean, that is an incredible show. I was lucky enough to to interview Henry and Jonathan not so long ago. Oh, um, yeah. About their new show, actually. But obviously, we talked about the play that goes wrong. I mean, what, what's it like doing such a physical show? I mean, I, I imagine you should be shattered every single night. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Yeah, and the, we you do kind of get quite a lot of people injured on that show, not in <laughs> yeah. that because it's just it's it is a lot yeah. physically to put your body through every night, but it's also so fun. Yeah. Like it's so nice doing a show that you know that you're going to go out and the audience is just going to like that's what it's there for. It's just to like help like people can just come, forget about whatever it is that's going on in their life for a couple of hours <laughs> and just like like laugh and yeah, they're the um mischief theatre the team that created are just so mm. brilliant. And they're really, yeah, they really look after people as well. And they kind of like bring you back. Um, 
and just support people really well so yeah oh, it's a very thing. very fun fun company to be a part of but yes yeah. Tyra definitely physically definitely, yeah I always think about the set dresser after it's all happened I think yes. oh God, what a job to put all that back together I know yeah <laughs> it's bad but I mean if you want a good belly laugh that is definitely definitely oh, yeah. the show sort of on the flip side murder in the dark I mean you know it's a thriller so you're sat there and you just, I mean, I'm rubbish at working stuff out. So I didn't get it at all until right at the end. And I have to say, yeah. when I went to see it in Birmingham, I, there was a collective gasp from the audience, which I thought, well, that's brilliant because you're doing your yeah. job so well that nobody saw that coming. I mean, what's the what's the audience reaction been like throughout the tour? Funnily enough, different. In every, well, I don't know whether it's funny enough, but different in every place we go to. Yeah. Like, I think... Um, yeah, some audiences are more because it kind of there's also a lot of like duck or comedy in it as well. Yeah, yeah. I think some audiences they love that side of it. Some audiences are really vocal with like kind of like the jump scares. Yeah. Some are more like you can tell they're kind of like more is more of a psychological process. Like they're trying to put the pieces together yeah. and they're really listening and stuff. Yeah. So actually it's kind of different everywhere we go and actually different every night as well. Yeah, yeah, it would be. I mean, it's it's um it is great. I mean, I I really very much enjoyed it. Um, so you're in Cheltenham now. You're moving on to New Brighton, and then you'll be at Richmond Theatre, um, which is another beautiful theatre. Um, and then finishing off in Glasgow. So how will it be, sort of finishing off the tour after this sort of length of time for you? Oh, I think it's going to be really like mixed feelings. I think, you know, it's. It's always sad when a job comes to an end because, you know, you make these amazing friendships and you feel like, oh, it's been so special to be um, to be part of something. So I think it will feel like really sad, but I feel really proud of us. You know, I feel like it's amazing to be able to get to do a piece of you writing and for it to have sold so well and been so successful so far. It feels yeah. like we've really accomplished something and really, um, yeah, in, in this sort of climate where people aren't really taking opportunities on on new work and new writing and things like that yeah. it feels yeah like a real a real privilege to have been able to do that so yeah I feel yeah sad that it's over but proud of it and good and really glad that I've had the opportunity to do it for sure yeah I mean it is as I said a great show so I'll put on the slide the next slide where they can see the tour and just finish off the end of this month but thank you so much for having a chat with me today I've really enjoyed it um, and good luck with the rest of the show Thank you so much. Lovely to You're meet welcome. you. And you take care. Bye. Bye bye.